Hello, Penny Pinchers. My name is Dayhan, and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at four small cap stocks to watch that are currently under $1 in the month of June. These have a low market cap and they can fluctuate high or low very quickly depending on the volume that is, you know, backed up behind it or any type of news that comes back, you know, with these penny stocks as well. So let's get into it. But before we get into it, guys, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. And as always, if you guys want to sign up for Webull, now you can get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Links are going to be in the description for that. So the first penny stock trading under one dollar to watch is going to be alpha esports tech so on the cse it's going to be alpha and on the otc it's going to be apetf so esports technology companies have been on a roll over the last year thanks to the pandemic locking people down and keeping them in their homes entertainment involved you know in, evolved while some may say that the lack of sports hurt an industry or the industry others might argue differently and say that you know this is actually going to cause the the you know the sporting to boom higher so entertainment is going to boom higher so they're likely referring to the explosion in gaming e gaming in fact revenues from comp competitive gaming are set to be just shy of about 1.1 billion by the end of this year according to the market researcher now you know right here this is huge so if we take a look with this uh, as the backdrop companies like Alpha Esport Tech. Uh, Inc. have started grabbing attention. Unlike the traditional esports entertainment company, Alpha has begun designing a new irritation of esports implementation. Its portfolio is built on the backbone of revolutionary products like its Gamers Arena, setting the stage for a new type of competitive experience. Now, according to the company, it has already partnered and worked with the leading names in sports, entertainment, and education. These include the New Jersey Devils, the Vancouver Whitecaps, Barstool Sports, ESPN Radio, Devil Child, Oxygen Esports, and Notre Dame, to name a few. So what to watch with Alpha Esports? So furthermore, the company has established relationships with well-integrated esports teams to build its brand. This week, uh, Alpha signed an esports and marketing partnership with uh, Centric Gaming. It's an esports team with a combina combined roster of over 150,000 followers on social media. Centric will use and promote Alpha's Gamers Alpha Arena platform for different activations and contests. So Alpha's data already estimates that 10 to 20 percent of Gamers Arena uh, pr freemium uh, users will place head-to-head -head bets with an average bet size of two to ten dollar per math per month. So at the company's 10% service fee, that could boil down to revenue of over five million just for this one vertical. Now there are also you know revenue verticals that includes wagering commissions, partnerships, sport sponsorships, and even DeFi tokenization. The company also announced this month that it has officially gotten a token or a symbol to begin trading in the US. So that is huge news. As you guys can see right here, this is all we have on the chart. It's only about a few weeks old, but as you can see, it's been performing well. Hit highs here of almost one dollar, pull back down to the 70 cents area, and then we see it back, you know, it's coming back, you fill up that gap on the uptrend, and now we're trading right there around you know, it's 85 cents, 90 cents or so. So we're going to be looking to see how this one's going to perform and if it's going to continue to move on higher in the next few, you know, months or so. So definitely one to add to your radar, guys. The number one penny stock on the list, the low cap stock. Next up, coming out of the number two spot, we have GEE Group. So job. Job is the ticker symbol. Shares of GEE Group have uh, been steadily climbing over the last several weeks. Following a big blowout in April, job stock has been in recovery mode. The staffing and recruiting technology firm had announced an upside stock offering at a steep discount to the market at the time. The main use of the proceeds was to repay a $55 million debt on its uh, rev revolving uh, credit f facility. Now, needless to say, job has uh, bounced back strongly since April's drop. One of the key drivers of this is likely a focus on the reopening trade. Staffing companies have been in a high demand as companies look to restart or grow operations. The pandemic shutdown certainly left its mark. Furthermore, the company's recently filed quarterly results give uh, interesting clues into the outlook of GE. So right here, what to watch with GE Group? Well, in particular, the company reported a significant portion of revenue where, you know, driven by professional contracting, uh, staffing, and direct hire placement. The in industries uh, serviced uh, were broad but included uh, the likely contenders uh, to benefit from reopening. According to GEE, the information technology, engineering, healthcare, finance, accounting, and office specialties were the majors. The revenues for this were approximately $30.7 million, higher than the same period in 2020. It also represented roughly 88% of the total revenue for the fiscal 2021 second quarter. 
Now, right here, CEO Derek E. Dillon also said GES significantly improved its financial position and liquidity by eliminating high price debt after you know the end of the 2021 fiscal second quarter. We expect that the GAAP uh, financial results for our sub subsequent quarters will show major benefits from the payoff of the former high cost senior debt. With a bolstering balance sheet, the company is well positioned to continue its internal growth strategy and also make strategic acquisitions. So that is what they said right there. That's what the CEO said. Let's take a look, guys. So jo job is going to be the ticker symbol J-O-B. This one was flat on Friday. 69 million market cap right now. Volume is usually around... 6 million or so. So, so if we go ahead and take a look at the one year chart right here, we see this uh, stock, you know, we had a huge jump right here uh, all the way up to 225. Then we saw it pull back down and consolidate here at a support level at around $1. So it kept bouncing back and forth pretty much for the rest of 2020. And then you see here at the beginning of 2021. So in January, we saw it started to see this uptrend hit highs here of about $2 or so. And once we hit that, you know, resistance level, we pulled back down all the way back down to about 62 cents or so. Like we said, they had that offering for, you know, cheaper shares. So right now we have a, you know, support level right there at around 60 cents or so. So we're trading at that, you know, range, but volume started to get huge. Volume was right here at 26 million. We saw, you know, 29 million, over 34 million shares traded. Right now, the volume is picking up once again. We're trading between, you know, one and 15 million shares in the past few weeks. So definitely interesting to see how, you know, this one is going to perform in the next few months. Is it going to continue to go higher? Will we reach that $1 area once again, or will it continue to trade down here in the support level? But we definitely want to see it, you know, break through the $1 resistance because that was a previous support. So that is a resistance level for us now. And then after that, obviously, we have the $1.50 and then the $2 level to look forward to in the future. The third penny stock to watch under $1 is going to be Solar Integrated Roofing Corp. So S-I-R-C. So this one right now is trading at around 66 cents. So renewable energy technology has become a clear point of focus for investors in 2021. Since U.S. President Joe Biden was voted into office, his administration has put a clear initiative to support a zero carbon footprint. With the latest discussions on infrastructure, things like solar energy are coming back to light. No pun intended, guys, right there. So in fact, Abigail Ross Hooper, the president and CEO of the Solar Energy Industries Association, responded to the latest developments in Biden's plan. In line with the president's emphasis on high quality jobs, an upcoming job study will show that solar has a unionized rate of 10.3%, which is a substantially more more than the previously estimated higher than the economy-wide average, these union jobs, along with numerous other career-sustaining jobs in the solar, offer another momentum to you know prioritize equity and create opportunities in every community. So what to watch right now with uh, Solar Integrated? So the company is no stranger to long-term readers. Uh, you know, earlier this year, SIRC stock surged from about 30 cents all the way to highs of $3, which is about a thousand percent gain. This came as early details surfaced about the latest infrastructure bill emerged. While green, you know, energy stocks had cooled in the second quarter, the latest discussion on a formal bill has sparked up an interest in uh, sector names. This week, Solar Integrated announced that it's closed an acquisition of Future Home Power, a solar roofing and battery, battery storage uh the sales company, David Massey, CEO of Solar Integrated, said the additional workforce and lead generation cap capabilities will allow us to rapidly scale the acquisition to an estimated 1 million plus per week of sustainable incremental sales as early as next month. For example, further home, uh, future home power, to, power drove 1.4 million in the last you know week of May alone, and it's likely to reach 2 million in a you know, weekly revenue in the near term. So that is what the CEO said. Market cap, it says 26,000 guys right there. I don't know what that means right there. Honestly, 26,000 what? It doesn't have any number after it, but it's uh, down about 2% on Friday. So it is down about 2%. SIRC is the ticker symbol. If we take a look here on the one year chart for this one, you guys can definitely see some interesting things. So obviously, like they said, it was trading down here, uh, you know, lows of about what, 30 cents or so. Then the infrastructure bill started to get talked about. Well, actually, the first thing happened here is obviously, um, you know, the, the voting was happening between Trump and Biden. And then we saw the infrastructure bill happen. And boom, this skyrocketed to three dollars right there over a thousand percent gain, like we said. And then we saw a sell off after, after that, you know, people started to cool off, you know, sell the news type situation. And we saw it come back down. But it didn't go all the way down to here to the lows. It actually found a new support level around a $5 level. So that is very interesting to see that it's actually trading at around $5. That is the new support level right now. 
compared to you know the lows out here about 28 cents or so so it's up over 100 percent even from that low in january so if anybody bought in here you'd still be up even if you didn't sell at the top but with the infrastructure bill coming and everything else that's coming you know in this presidency this one could continue to go on higher in the near future obviously we have that huge gap all the way to about about the three dollar level so can we ever even you know get back to those levels once again Definitely something interesting to watch and see how it's going to perform in the next few months and obviously next you know four years um, if we can get back to those three dollar levels, especially with the things you guys see them doing. They're you know they're acquiring different things, making a lot more revenue. So definitely want to add to your radar, guys, and see how it's going to perform in the next few years. Coming in the number four stock is going to be another small cap stock, and it's going to be Diffusion Pharmaceuticals Inc. So DFFN. So Diffusion Pharma uh, joins the list as one of the biotech penny stocks under one dollar to watch. The company shares have been climbing for the better part of the last month. Diffusion develops therapies for oxygen deliveries. Earlier this year, transsodium crocentinate TSC was dosed in the first patients in its phase one trial, evaluating its effect on a paraspial tissue oxygenation. This was the first in a series of three studies planned in 2021. So this one is interesting, guys, because this one has, you know, news coming up. It's, you know, phase one, phase two, phase three, PDUFA, FDA, all those things. So last month, the company reported results for its TSC treatment in hospitalized uh, Rona 19 patients. So top line results based upon analysts of, uh, you know, primary endpoint data from the trial were announced in February. These uh, first showed that TSC was safe and well tolerated. So what is to watch with this one? Well, the company said it hopes to begin and complete the other two trials in the second half of this year. The Fusion expects uh, top line results from each study to become available within two months of their completion dates. The company also said it thinks positive data from any one or more of these three oxygenation trials could be enough evidence for a definite you know, effect of a TSC on oxygenation. As more data is anticipated, DFFN stock could be one to watch. In response to the initial data, CEO Robert Kobuzi uh, Jr., PhD, explained for the remainder of 2021, we are focused on the design and the execution of the remaining two oxygenation trials, which are the foundation of our redefined TSC development strategies, announced in November 2020. So guys, let's take a look at this stock. So guys, if we take a look right here at DFFN, so this one has a market cap of around 80.4 million. So not that bad. It was pretty much flat on Friday at the close. But if we take a look here at the one year chart, it traded here around this $1 range. Then we saw a pop at over $1.50. And then we saw the sell off once again, building a new support level around this, you know, 65 to 70 cents area in the past. And then we saw an uptrend, obviously, going into the beginning of 2021, as a lot of the, you know, penny stocks started to boom at the beginning of the year. And we saw that happen for about January and February. Penny stocks were really popular and they were booming. So it went from about lows of about 75 cents all the way to highs of $1.75, so up over a dollar or so, which is up over 100%. So once it hit those highs over here, we saw a sell-off as the crypto, you know, as the you know penny stock started to become less uh, popular, as you can see, volume started to decrease. We saw it hit that $1 range, couldn't stay here, and you know, at this um, support level, continue to go down to a previous support, which we just showed down here. So this is the support that we just showed, and it was around the 60 cents area. So we trading, you know, we're trading around the 60 cents area down here. And now we're looking for a breakout. If it can break through this $1 resistance, it would be really nice. Obviously, we have this resistance here at around 80 cents, 83 cents or so, which is pretty much where we're at right now. But if we can break through that, we have to go all the way to about a dollar before we hit the next resistance. Hopefully, we can consolidate there and then push on higher a little bit and continue to fill up that previous gap all the way down up to about $1.50 and then $1.75 and hopefully continue to go higher and maybe even hit all-time highs at about $2 or so. Now, obviously, analysts on this one, short-term, mid-term are very bullish. Long-term, they're a little bit bearish right there. Not sure why they you know, have some speculation on the long-term chart, but this one has a lot of potential for growth as well in the year 2021, obviously, guys. So, obviously, guys, these are you know four penny stocks that have small you know cap stocks that are under $1 right now. Could have potential, you know, huge... Uh, gains in June and obviously the months to come. So you guys let me know in the comments below. Are any of these penny stocks on your radar? Have you researched any of them? Obviously, this is uh, not financial advice. This is all for educational purposes. So before investing, speak to your financial advisor. You guys let me know what penny stocks you're watching right now and what type of content you guys want to see up next on this channel. As always, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notification to get notified every time we make a new video. If you guys want to sign up for Weebo and get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300, links are going to be in the description for that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys the next one. Goodbye.